Hello and welcome back to the Snapple IndyCar series. You're tuning in just in time for the Grand Prix of Phoenix, round number two. This racetrack is often called the Desert Triangle for its oddly shaped backstretch. Now let's take a look at your starting grid to kick things off. Grabbing the pole is Scott Dixon in the number 10 car, Graham Rahal in the 15 starts alongside him. Row 2 is Takuma Sato now driving for Andretti Autosport and Marco Andretti. Row 3 is Scott Dixon and Charlie Kimball. Row 4 is Elio Castroneves and Will Power. Row 5 is Joseph Newgarden and Connor Daly. Row 6 is Michaela Lotion and Carlos Munoz. And rounding up the field in row 7 is Ryan Hunter Ray and James Hinchcliffe. And as we take a look at your point standings, Ryan Hunter Ray has the points lead, followed by Scott Dixon, Elio Castroneves, and Tony Kanan rounding it out in fourth place. You see the rest of the results there. The points in race one were incorrect. These are the official series points as of right now, round number two. And toward the bottom of the list, you'll see the six newcomers to the racing series. Each of them has been given five points to start the season with. Now shifting gears, no pun intended, we take a look at a crash that occurred earlier this month in testing with Carlos Munoz and Joseph Newgarden. In turn four, they made a little bit of contact and it sent the both of them spinning. Turn 4 has been a trouble spot during testing and practices here, and it's sure to provide a challenge for the cars even today. Now with some last minute race facts, it's going to be 25 laps here tonight, 14 entries, and the Grand Prix of Phoenix is underway. Tony Kanon clears the field now, Takuma Sato in the 27 car takes second place, Graham Rahal is hung out on the outside. Tony Kanon with a commanding lead already, as... Elio Castroneves is working on fourth now from Graham Rahal, who started second place. Looks like he's going to clear him off of turn four. And now we take a look at Scott Dixon, who's been very fast this weekend. Let's go on board with him. The sound of these cars, I tell you what. As we take a look at Marco Andretti in the 25, he sails past Graham Rahal. Looks like Rahal may be having a problem of some sort. His car has gone in the wrong direction from the start of the race. Now we're on board with Takuma Sato in the 27, who's moved over to Andretti Autosport. He's been very, very fast, and he's giving the leader some chase now. Scott Dixon still runs third, and Elio Castroneves still runs fourth. Coming down the front stretch, Marco Andretti has a run for fourth place on Elio Castroneves. He's not going to get it done. We have a pass for the race lead from Takuma Sato. He does not make it work. The outside lane is very difficult to maintain and pass here. As you can see, he's struggling. And now Joseph Newgarden in the two cars spins out in turn number two. Caution is out. Joseph Newgarden in his first run for Penske Racing ends up in the wall in turn two. Let's take a look at what happened. It looks like... He didn't make any contact, but he definitely did get on that apron, and if your car clips that apron, it's very hard to be able to save that. So tough break for Joseph Newgarden. He will sadly end up in the garage. Pit lane is now open, so we'll see who comes in and who stays out on this next caution. It appears as if nearly everyone has hit pit road. That's an interesting call, as Graham Rahal's in the pits now. He's making some adjustments to his front wing as his car has been very bad the entire race, he has been struggling. Leader Tony Kanon is in. He has that number one pit stall along with Scott Dixon in the number nine. We'll see what strategy calls are played out here as Takuma Sato exits the pits first. Looks like he will take over the race lead. Out behind him are Kanon, Dixon, Rahal, and Hinchcliffe as Takuma Sato leads the field back to the green. And it looks like he's going to chop off the front nose of Tony Kanon. I don't know if that was entirely legal. Blocking is not very well liked in this series by the officials. That move is going to be under review. As now, Kanon is under fire from his teammate, Scott Dixon. Kanon's going to try and use the outside to get it back. Kanon has a very fast car. He's going to be able to maintain that outside lane for a little bit at least. Looks like Dixon's going to take the position and clear. He's now pursuing the leader, Takuma Sato. The inside lane is definitely the place to be as we see a crossover from Scott Dixon. He's going to try and take the lead, and they make a bit of contact. Sato and Dixon make a bit of contact, and Tony Kanon slips by for the race lead. Ray Hall in the 15 sweeps around the outside of Scott Dixon from his loss of momentum. He's going to take second, but in turn three, he's going to get spun by the number nine. Caution is out for Graham Ray Hall. 
Working his way back up through the field, Graham Rahal gets taken out by Scott Dixon. As we take a look at what happened in real time, it looked like he thought he was clear and he just wasn't. It's very, very close. He definitely came down, but Dixon had a nose. He definitely had the nose in there, so it's going to be under review, but that definitely looks like just a racing ordeal. Unfortunately, Graham Rahal's night will be done, and Scott Dixon is going to have to get some front wing repairs. Tough break for both of those drivers, especially Graham Rahal. He was having a good run put together after that pit stop. After all that chaos, Tony Kanaan leads us to the restart on lap 20. Six laps to go. And look who's fought his way up to third, James Hinchcliffe in the five car after starting dead last. Elio Castroneves now runs second. He's in hot pursuit of Tony Kanaan. Takuma Sato in the 27 goes around Hinchcliffe for third place. Kanan still holds the race lead with just four laps to go now. Elio Castroneves is within passing distance. He just needs to find a way around the number 10. He's going to put in the nose. He's going to get a little bit loose, though. That was a good save. They almost wrecked each other there. Three laps to go. Castroneves is looking for a way around the 10 car. He's going to go low. He's going to fake him out on the inside. He barely clipped the apron there. I'm surprised he didn't spin out. Castroneves to the lead. They're side by side with two laps to go. Kanan taking the lead back on the outside. Looks like it was only for a short while, though, as now Castroneves is clear for the race lead. Kanan doing all he can to use the outside to get around him. White flag, final lap in the Phoenix Grand Prix. Castroneves has the race lead. Here comes Takuma Sato with a full head of steam. He's going to give it a go for second place. Coming through turns three and four. Castroneves takes the low side. They're side by side. Tony Kanan doesn't have enough. Elio Castroneves takes the win in the Grand Prix of Phoenix. They were three wide at the, at the line. That was impressive driving. And you now see Elio Castroneves celebrating his hard-fought victory. Here are the results of the Grand Prix of Phoenix. Castroneves taking home the win. Kanan, after starting on pole and leading the most laps, winds up second. Takuma Sato winds up third. Andretti with a solid top four. And Scott Dixon, after being involved in that final crash, rounds out the top five. James Hinchcliffe is up to sixth place from last. That was an impressive run. Same with Ryan hunter -Ray. He started next to last and finished seventh. Let's get a look at the replay of the finish. It was very exciting. So, heading into turns one and two, Castro Neves takes the inside. As you should, you should definitely defend the inside here. He takes a very low line into turn three. You see Takuma Sato in the 27 with a very full head of steam. And look at that finish. Side by side, 0 0.0097 second margin of victory. That was very impressive. Kanan made one last effort to pull out on the outside. It was not enough. He did not have enough momentum. And that is ultimately what led to Elio Castroneves taking the win in round two of the Snapple IndyCar series. Here are the point standings after round two. Castroneves takes over the point lead with finishing second in race one and now winning race two. Hunter Ray falls to second place after his seventh place finish today. Kanan third, Dixon fourth, Sato fifth. You can read the rest of the point standings. Many of the newcomers still at the bottom of the season, but we have a long ways to go, so they will be able to pick up some spots later on. That was quite the exciting finish. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed. We will see you next time when the Snapple IndyCar Series heads to Long Beach.